guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel thank you thank you so much for clicking on my video and i really really hope that you're gonna hit the subscribe button so you can join my little family and if you're telling subscriber hey what to do welcome back so in today's video we're gonna be installing this hair right here and guys i mean <laughs> i'm really really loving it um i did struggle here and there you guys will see everything in the video um, it's gonna be a voiceover because obviously I will fast forward just for the sake of time um, This hair is from shining star hair um, I got it from Aliexpress. It took about two weeks to get here. The shipping was free um, And then I'll just list everything in the description box the price the link to the hair and everything and um, Yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and yeah Let's just get into the video okay guys so this hair is from shining star i got it from aliexpress it came with two week caps um a card with all the hair care information and the wig is a 20 inch 13 by one um transparent lace um, it is a straight wig as you guys can see and i am really really loving the hair it was super super soft it had little to no shedding you guys like i kid you not and it took in heat so well like extremely well um, and then now i'm just gonna go in with a foundation brush just to tint the lace with my foundation color you don't really need to add foundation to your brush for this unless if obviously you've just cleaned it and i'm just gonna add the foundation to the wig cap as well um, some people prefer the bold cap method. I just don't do that. I feel like it's just the way it's waste of wig caps because Nah, I just I just don't understand it And this wig you guys like literally you do not need glue because it was so tight like it it hugged onto my head like it felt You know like when I tell like this wig was not lace. like literally all I could have done was just cut the lace and head out the door like everything would have just been fine right it was so tight um i did not uh, plug the lid the way because i i don't know how to so i was like mm, let me not risk it and i also love that the hairline is not straight um so because straight hairlines no that's not what we want um also when it comes to cutting down your lace you should go in like a wavy or zigzag motion don't cut it down straight because that would look so weird um, so that's just me trying to match the wake up to my hairline and I will be cutting the lace into three sections which will make it easier for us to glue it down and just cut the lace in general. I am going in with the yellow got to be glue. I don't really like this glue for laying down my wigs but I ran out of the spray. Um, I personally would prefer and you know advise someone to use the spray because it's much more easier less messy and it holds much more like it's much more stronger and now i'm just gonna take the back of my comb and brush the glue into the hair like sort of like to melt the wig even more if that makes sense and then yeah i'm just putting the glue all over my head and And this glue does not damage my hair you guys because some of it does go into my hair and I ha I've been with it for like a while now or I've been doing this for a while same with the spray like it does nothing to my hair it doesn't dry it up it doesn't break it off uh, but yet again everyone is different and since your girl does not have a blow dryer I was like mm, you know let us improvise and um yeah, that's just me trying to lay down the wig, which is a process, trust me, so be patient. And I have this old tie thing that I use. I have two, I have the black one and the white one that you guys will see in a moment. And those two are just for my wigs because you need something to tie it down. And let me tell you, if you do not have a headache, you're not doing it correctly, okay? Like, you better give yourself a headache when you tie this shit down. And yeah that's just me about to straighten the wig like can you guys see how straight it is already without even straightening it down and i just love it i love it the density is perfect i don't like too heavy wigs and i don't like them too thin so 180 is for me 
and then here am I trying to section the hair section by section which was a little bit of a disaster because I don't have a retail comb and it just didn't make it an easy process but we did what we had to do Okay, now I'm just unwrapping the hair. Um, I tied my hair after straightening it um, in a ponytail so I can clearly see where I'm cutting. And the scissors were not so sharp, so it was kind of a, you know, a struggle a bit to like, cut the lace. Um, just make sure you're not cutting straight down, like I said earlier on in the video. And here am I cutting the wig into three tabs um, to make it easier for me. And I realized that I sort of like removed the tie bands quicker so the lace was not completely dark, like dried up. So as I go, I take my comb and just press the wick down to help it stick more to my skin so that it does not lift. And as you apply your lace wig, you have to pay attention to like the corners of the wigs, like the ear tabs, because that's where it mostly, mostly um, lift up first. So just make sure that place is like laid, laid down, um, especially if you're going to be tying your hair back or, you know, it's, it's going to be visible. And like I said, just pressing um, the hair down with my comb. And here I'm just trying to use the heat from the... Uh, straight nuts it's like like completely melt the glue and um yeah it kind of worked it kind of worked if i'm being honest This lace wig came with um, baby hairs. I struggled, you guys. When I tell y'all, I gave up. Like, I don't know. Like, my hand just can't swoop. Like, I can't do that swooping motion to save my life. So, that clip is not even here because it was like 11 minutes just me trying to lay my baby hairs, which is like, hell no, that's too long. 
but I mean I just gave up and just combed down the baby hairs and that's just that and then now I'm just really straightening my hair I'm not really um, you know going in hard because y'all remember we straightened the hair before so it's pretty much straight I'm just trying to now make it bone straight which is kind of hard to do um, without a hard comb and just using a straightener but I feel like we kind of we kind of did it you know I, I, I finessed it a bit um, so yeah just make it straight and yeah And then now I'm just going to be going in with my hair mousse to take care of those flyaways because your girl does not have a wax stick. I team got that. So we have to finesse our way. So I just used the mousse to lay down the hair which worked perfectly well. Um, it did not even sizzle when I went back in with a straightener and the hair is still soft after the mousse. Um, it's just perfect. So um, yeah, that's just me going in with the mousse and combing it throughout the entire hair and just going back in with a straightener. And I'm using the side of the straightener to sort of like get the top of my head and just work my way to having like bone straight hair. so this is the end of the tutorial i hope you guys really really enjoyed this video um just tell me you know rate me how i did because it is my first time with a straight wig and i'm actually loving how it looks um so yeah i'm gonna see you guys in